Our next guest travels the country telling stories about rescue dogs for his show, To the Rescue. And our very own pet rescue expert, Larissa, got to get in on the action with him as well. Please welcome to our home the rescuers, Tommy Habib and Larissa. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for having me. This is fantastic. Well, we are very excited to have you here. And I understand, Larissa, the two of you worked together just a few months ago. Yes. Right? So when I went down to Nashville, or to we were in Franklin County, Tennessee, which is south of Nashville, um, Tommy and his whole team working with Kathy Bissell were there setting up for this his show, To the Rescue. So I helped out a little bit. I got to jump in on the action. It was a lot of fun. And seeing them work their magic was amazing, helping these Rural shelters. Lewis is just popping up all over the place. I'm Ooh, trying. Wow. <laughs> shows everywhere. It's amazing. Now, Tommy, I know that you've loved dogs for years and years and years, and this show isn't just about dogs, right? It really is also very much so about people. You know, and I tell I tell people that ask me about the show, so just give it five minutes because you'll get hooked. You you'll realize not only the dogs suck you in and the puppies, uh, but really, I guess the the through line is rescuing dogs, but but really, it's about the people. Right. These people that fall in love with these dogs and how they change their lives. It changed my life doing this show. And the truth is, you know, we always say, who rescued who? Yep. Yeah, they just... Right. Everybody right. says that. Literally, I, I think we're at 100%. I've never heard anybody not say that. Right. It's it's magic that happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. And right. people go, well, I just really I don't want to... You know, what am I going to do with a dog? I'm going, give it a shot. And if you have children, you have to get oh. a, a dog for them. It's so yeah, true, and the Debbie. energy that animals. I know, my goodness, <laughs> Alexander's been begging for one. My little girl, every day I go home, Mommy, I want a dog. Well, Larissa can help us. Trust me, we're gonna, we'll have a whole stable of dogs soon. This is a problem. She's on this show and doesn't have a dog. Oh, Everybody oh, else here has me. a dog. We're working on I it. I will have a dog by the end of this, I promise you that. You're coming on to the rescue, and we're gonna find you a dog <gasps> on, oh, can we do that? We pull this whole thing Let's together. Let's do it, let's do it, I'm yeah. in, I'm in. I Cameron, love you it. come too, we're not leaving you out. No, no, no. We'll bring everybody. Every Debbie's assistant. <laughs> he already has a dog at home, but you could foster some more. Why not, Cameron, come <laughs> on. Thanks, thanks. In the meantime, before yeah. we get me a dog, I would love to show everyone at home how wonderful the show is. And this is a clip of a woman who um, has autism and whose life was changed forever by the love of rescue dogs. Take a look. When we gave her the job to be my service dog, she came to life. She knew that that was her purpose and her job, and she's been the perfect dog ever since. Before Tori had Ember, she never would have gone any place by herself. Ember was Tori's social bridge. I love you. I would never have been able to travel on my own and done speaking engagements on stage in front of thousands of people without her by my side. I feel very grateful to what she's given me. She's given me a life. She's given me a life worth living. I'll never be able to thank you enough. Beautiful. It's so powerful. Oh. No, I got to tell you, in every episode like this, Tori was so amazing. At 19, her life was falling apart. She tried to commit suicide. Her family didn't know how to deal with this. This dog came into her life, changed everything. Today, she runs an unbelievable business in Park City's Utah. Her whole family now works with her. Oh, my goodness. And they have uh, doggy daycare. And literally, it's a multi-million dollar business that she runs. From not even being able to holding a job, to now running this company oh, because of Ember, her dog. It was pretty amazing. And the Autism Society of America has now partnered with us. Oh, and wonderful. we're doing some amazing things, uh, telling these these wonderful stories about these families. That oh, that's so with wonderful. Autism. It's so great what you do. Yeah, exactly oh, it's right. amazing. Now, I know be, there's so many animals that you've talked about and shown on your show, but Hondo made a really, really big impact. Tell us a little bit about Hondo. Yeah, so I've been in rescue so long, somewhat in rescue. So I was part of the SPCA LA, hosted their telethon. I thought I was in rescue. I really wasn't until I started this show. Hondo was my first dog that we rescued. And, and this little guy, I mean, he was hours from dying. And we brought him in and got him to our vets and got him healed. And he, I fostered him, so he, he lived with me. And, and it was so powerful and so difficult going through this process. Uh, but you, you look at him today, and we got him an extreme puppy makeover. Aww. And so I went to see him, and in, in, uh, we got him on a ranch in, in Oklahoma, and I went to see him. He had been there for like six months. And 
the dog's crying, I'm crying. We were, it was the sweetest thing ever. But he's, you know, he's in my heart forever. And, and I said, you guys are going to have to put up with me at least twice a year. I'm driving to Oklahoma to see that little yeah, rat. you got to do it. That bond is unbreakable. It's, it's unbreakable. Thing. So uh, looking at some of these videos and hearing your stories, both of your stories, what has surprised you the most about rescue? The people. I mean, these people like Larissa, they <laughs> give. We're, we're crazy. <laughs> yeah. In the best, no in the best crazy. way possible. <laughs> crazy for animals yes. and for saving animals. No, we yeah. love it. Truly, they do it when nobody's watching. Yeah. And, and that's what happens. And so all I'm doing is documenting these amazing souls and these hearts and these people and what they do and how much they give. They give their money and all their time. And, and so many of them don't have the money to give, but they are caring so much for these animals. It's these wonderful people that I get to now put on television and mm -hmm. say, look, to millions of people, you know, clap and, and let's, let's help these people. Yeah. So we raise money and then and help these fosters. And, well, thank you so much rescue. for everything you do. It is so do wonderful. You Thank are you. doing such a great job, and it's true. They do it when no one's looking. We don't have time for the story, but Larissa actually <laughs> saved an animal this morning. Yep, that's right. On the side I of On the side, and no one was looking. And yep. I have the scars. One guy was looking. Yeah, one guy, one guy <laughs> saw. One guy saw. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Larissa, for all you do as well, Thank my you. friend. For more information, you all, make sure to go to hallmarkchannel.com. And for more info on To the Rescue, go to tommyheybeeb.com.